Marty. Let's watch this in full first. There's audio. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. And um, can I do a piece of bread on the bottom and on the top, please? Okay. Maybe maybe just throw in a piece of meat in the middle with uh, with a pe with some cheese on it. You know, why not? So, uh, cheeseburger? No, I said a house salad. <laughs> it's a funny line. I like this. Hi, can I please do the house salad? So my question is, and I'm just going to bring this down here. You have that in terms of where the character is looking, which I like a lot, like a little reference point of this. The question is, are you planning on putting a character there, even if it's just kind of, you know, somewhat there as like a, a compositional balance? Because if so, I would, I would consider putting the character a bit more here. Well, let me expand this a bit more so I can draw on it. Yeah, it's a bit worse. So, you know, something like this. And then I know he's looking up, not really at us. But I wonder if that could be something interesting where it's just kind of this looming character holding the menu, whatever here, or writing things down. And then adjusting the eyes a bit more towards that direction. But, you know, that's it's not huge. Just a thought. Curious what you think. Uh, and this is actually just so that you can see your uh, your frames in here as well. For me, this is one frame off. So if I tell you frame 28, it's actually frame 27. <laughs> Sorry, lots of rambling at the beginning. But again, I like the idea. And I'm only saying this because he's always very, very centered in terms of the composition. But it makes it all very clear. I don't. I don't mind that it's like this. I'm just. I'm just wondering if you're gonna plan on having another character there. Because if not, it's also kind of like this is a really ginormously tall person next to him. But other than that, my main concern is stuff like this in terms of timing. Is that it? You know why not? It's cute, but it's it's a ginormously big move over a very short period of time. You know, why not? It's also headed into like a W pose. And I think this could be really cute where, you know, why not? Like his voice is kind of like, okay. Cheese no. on it. You know, why not? Why not? And I think this might almost be too big because he's he's a bit, you know, unsure, a bit shy, a bit like, you know, like a little bit, you know, here and there. Be kind of cute. Mm, that'd be yummy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Why not? So that to me feels like what if this would be more of a keep that. It's almost like that arm goes up, the forearm goes up, maybe a bit here with a little bit of squeeze in the hands and, and almost leaving this here and then just doing your shoulder shrug the way you have it here, but take out that big part. It's more like a little shadow. Yeah, you know, why not? And the biggest accent would be in the head. Why not? Because then you're back in here, you know what I mean? And then that would lead right into this pose. So, uh... And to me, that's... The big contrast to me is this, which I like. And I'm, I'm concerned that this is too much, too big, too much energy that takes away from this. Although careful with this one because you're leaning straight away from us. And it might be more interesting to potentially lean away this way. I'm thinking in terms of here's a character. You like, or let me think a lot. This might not be very structured in terms of feedback here, but what if... He leans this way. Reason being, here's the guy, even if he's off screen, here's the guy that he feels might judge him because he technically knows he's going to order a burger, not a salad, but he's just going to pretend, but he wants all those extra things. And I love, I love all that stuff. Like, this is really cute. I love all this. Watch out a little bit of a tangent there. I will clean up uh, or clear the silhouette a little bit. Same thing here. Maybe bring that a bit lower to the left. So it's not right under the chin, but I like this idea. That's really cute. I love all the little back and forth in terms of what the body is doing, right? Going from here to here, that's great. That again, it feels like a bit too close to the mouth. I would separate this a bit. I know it gets a bit tough because then you're further out with the elbow, giving, you know, upper arm like this. I wanna make sure that you don't break that wrist. But anything, even if the fingers are here and you're just kind of halfway cutting into the face, but this feels a bit too, I always feel like we wanna keep eyes and mouth a bit clear unless there's a specific reason for it this feels a bit broken although i recognize the meme here 
so it might have to be a bit you know it's again if it's tricky you bring that out to this a bit more comfortable like that in terms of the hand and the forearm but then we're over the face it just, just feels close to broken but or just not quite possible in terms of his size i feel like that forearm would be is not really intersecting with the chest a bit but anyway i understand what this pose is and where this is from and that's to me the biggest change here in terms of this to this timing wise a big concern and i feel like it takes the spotlight away from this and this is a nice defeated hunger dial everything is low wrist low this points down points down. everything's pointing down as in ah, i know so this is all great like this is my general view going back to why i said about leaning what if again this is me thinking out loud you don't have to do this at all but my thought process is if the character's here the waiter the character here is slightly embarrassed concerned a bit shy and almost wants to lean away like this character, like the, the judging aspect, of almost threatening, looming judge here, makes the character lean generally more this way. So everything that you're doing has a slight lean this way. As I want to be away from this character because I'm slightly embarrassed. And when he's done with all of this, and you can have little moments of leaning a bit closer, but then at the end when he's done, again, I feel like if everything is leaning this way, when he's done here, okay imagine now he's leaning more this way because now he feels comfortable he's like yeah i feel comfortable leaning close to you because i told you what i want to eat and it's totally fine and i totally mask the fact that it's not a salad anymore and then he goes so you want a burger he goes no again straight up and then uh, and that's why he goes again away from the character this might be too heady like thinking too far uh in terms of body language but i i always kind of like when you have two characters what is their relationship in terms of the closeness of it and and like his personal space does he want to get close or not and why again being shy or not or arrogant or not or confident or not other than that it's really cute i really like it um but i'll leave it at that you let me know what you think if that is helpful comments if that is helpful comments, it's definitely not helpful English. Um, but if that, since this is your first submission, if that's kind of what you're looking for, um, or if you want me to address other things or go into more details, given that this is stepped, it's also rough-ish. So let me know. Let me know if this is working for you or if you want me to adjust certain things. Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.